People in Heber Springs remain shocked after a cat is found with a gunshot wound to the head. Thanks for joining us at 6. I'm Ashley Katz. Tyler Thomason spoke to the man who found the animal. He joins us in the newsroom now. Tyler, tell us what you know. Ashley, you could tell that the cat was looking for help and was surprised to see that it was still alive. One business nearby says they've never heard of anything like this happening in such a friendly town. The sizzle attracts a crowd. It's lunchtime at Tisha's place in Heber Springs. Hey, you guys. The burgers and the customers are in heavy rotation. People walk in, we know them by name. The restaurant sits here along Highway 25, just feet away from where one man drove up on an uninviting scene. I didn't realize it was a cat until I almost hit it. Cody Stringfellow shared this photo online Sunday of a cat that had been shot in the head and was still alive. So it was pretty much asking for help. He pulled over, picked it up, and recorded a short video. This is bad, bad wrong. Don't know how long it's going to be alive. Cody took the cat to a nearby clinic where it had to be put down. That's the mice house cat. Probably a family member. He says authorities knocked on doors in the area trying to find the pet's owner, but had no luck. Now the search turns toward whoever fired the gun. It's real messed up as he is, especially somebody who does that. And back at the roadside diner, the mood has soured. Well, I mean, it makes me kind of sad, actually. And I asked Cody what made him want to pick up the cat and try to help it, and he told me to make a change, you got to do something. Cody and the vet he took it to split the bill to have the cat put down. Back to you.